Uh, well, given the progress that you made as a squad last year, Challenge Cup win, challenging in the playoffs, must be a real excitement around Wigan that you're ready to, to, you know, to go better than that and challenge again on all three fronts. Yeah, definitely. I think um, the community's been real behind us, so that's made it um, yeah, a lot easier and um, the boys have been training and working hard in the pre-season, so yeah, we're looking forward to round one. When you've got so much positive stuff to build on, does that make pre-season a little bit different? Yeah, I think um, last year we built a lot of combinations and stuff, so um, yeah, we built a good base and um, yeah, we've been working on it um, in the last four or five weeks training. Obviously, one big change in the spine is Tommy Nudelwein moving away from playing and into the coaching setup. How have you adjusted to him not being there? Yeah, he's been great for um, Harry and I and Logs in the halves. Um, like he's got all the experience in the world, so uh, every time we, we're doing halves training and stuff, he's there to help us out. So he's definitely putting us in the right direction, and yeah, very grateful. You've got some real young. You mentioned a couple of them there. You know, some real good young talent coming through at the club. How much did that Challenge Cup win set you up last year to get them some real crucial experience and set them up for, for more of the same this year? Yeah, definitely. I think um, the whole squad gained a lot of experience from it. Um, you want to play in those big games. That's why you play. That's why you play rugby league. And um, yeah, it just put, puts us in good stead this year. I reckon just to have that a bit of experience in the big games. And you obviously have picked up a lot more experience in the Betfred Super League from last season. Do you feel like that's changed how you've prepared coming into this year? Yeah, I think um, probably gave you a bit more confidence. Um, I think um, yeah, going into this season, I, like, I want to be firing, and I think um, we've been working hard and um, training to, to build those combinations and make sure that we hit the ground running. It just felt like quite a long break, obviously, with the World Cup in between. The season finished a little bit earlier, it started a little bit late. What, what point did you kind of start to get the itch to want to be back out there and back training again? Yeah, I think um, I, had a, I had a bit of holiday for a couple of weeks and then went back home for six weeks, and I reckon. Halfway through that, I was ready to get back into it, um, get into the routine and, and see how the boys and start training again. So, um, yeah, it's been good. Those four weeks before Christmas were vital just to get, get everything going and getting ready getting ready for the season. And how would you describe your first experience last season at the Betfred Super League? Oh, I absolutely loved it. Um, fans, the coach, the staff, all the players, uh, build, build friendships for life. So, um, yeah, it can only, only get better from here, I think. And I've just loved every moment, moment of it and, yeah, very grateful. There's always expectation around Wigan to win trophies and be competing at the top end of the table. Does that bring pressure with it or kind of more of a determination? I think yeah, determination. I think we've um, we've got the belief within the squad that we can um, we can win anything that we go into. So um, there's, there's that in the group. Um, Maddie's instilled in us to build a good culture and um, yeah, the, the, we just go into each game confident now. Uh, the, the, the big game, a couple of big games that everyone will, will talk about. Saints versus Wigan, what, what were your experiences of that like last season and must be one of the first ones that you looked for this year? Yeah, I think um, that uh, Easter Easter Friday game, that's one that we look at straight away and, and um, you see it for a homer away because um, it was quite, quite, quite a um, surreal experience playing there away. The fans got into us, so I'm, I'm, good, I'm looking forward to getting one back on this year. What would success be for Wigan this year? All three. Definitely. Um, if, we, if we don't believe that we can, can't win all three, then there's, we should be, shouldn't be playing the sport. So there's conf that confidence in the, within this uh, squad that yeah we can do it. So yeah, that's that's a goal. A, a couple of departures, obviously, a couple of players that have come in, but by and large, especially by the Super League standards, quite a consistent squad that you've kept into this year. How important is that to, to build on what happened last time around? Yeah, definitely. I think. Uh, Having that extra year, um, everyone playing with each other, it, uh, obviously helps in the builds, the combinations, and um, just timing and stuff on the pitch. So that's, that's yeah, it's put us in good stead, I reckon. And um, yeah, we're just we're just all looking forward to getting out there and playing playing the playing the regular season and the Challenge Cup games. Well, best of luck. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Awesome.